Blender's automatic weights is a wonderful tool, but it has some limitations. You may get bone heat weighting error, or sometimes the weighting isn't quite what you expected. This is especially true with overlapping geometries such as cloves. There are different solutions from manual weight painting, which I have covered on the channel, to weight transfer techniques, which I'll cover in the future. But if you want a one-click solution and can afford to pay 30 bucks, then I recommend the Voxel Heat Diffuse Skinning Add-on. It's automatic weights on steroids. This add-on kind of has a free version, so give me a second to explain, because at first I was confused about the difference between paid and free. So this product actually contains three weighting algorithms, voxel heat, surface heat, and delta mush or corrective smooth baker. So delta mush can be bought as a separate add-on, but personally I was more interested in voxel heat diffuse skinning, so I bought it and I got delta mush with it. And there is one more weighting tool that you'll get when you buy this add-on, and that is surface heat diffuse skinning. If you go to mesh online, meshonline.net slash voxel, you'll find a link to a GitHub page. And if you go to it, here you can download for free the surface heat diffuse skinning add-on. Surface heat is very similar to Blender's automatic weights, but you'll never get bone heat weighting error. So this free add-on alone can be very useful. So I hope this makes sense. If you buy voxel heat diffuse skinning, then you'll get all these three algorithms in one package. Surface heat can be downloaded separately as a free add-on, and Delta Mush is also available as a separate add-on, but if you decided to buy voxel heat diffuse skinning, then you shouldn't buy it separately. So in this video, I'm going to cover voxel heat and surface heat, and Delta Mush I'll try to cover in another video. You'll see the pros and cons of each algorithm, but in a nutshell, Voxel heat will allow you to quickly weight overlapping geometry, but it can struggle with a finer geometry such as fingers, for example. And this is where you can use surface heat diffuse skinning. And in specific cases, Blender's automatic weights may actually be better than a voxel heat or surface heat. So each of them are just tools that you have at your disposal, and I'll show you how to use them together. After you buy the add-on, you'll be able to download and install it. On the product page, click on view order, find your download. There is a version for 2.7, but if you're using 2.8, 2.9 or Blender 3, then just download the latest version. This will download a zip file. Do not unzip this file. Then in Blender, go to edit, preferences, add-ons, click install, find the zip file, click install and activate the add-on. And once you have an object and an armature and you select both of them, you'll get the Mesh Online tab in the side panel. And here you'll find the three algorithms, Surface Heat Diffuse Skinning, Voxel Heat Diffuse Skinning, and Corrective Smooth Baker or Delta Mush. Okay, so this is the character that I'll be using. Um, it has some interesting areas like um, it has cloth that is um, overlapping with the rest of the body. And these are areas that automatic weights generally struggles with. And I'm going to be using Rigify for this uh, presentation. The point of this video is not Rigify. I have a lot of videos about Rigify. If you want to learn it, I'm going to share my playlist with you. And especially when it comes to rigging a human with Rigify, there are at least a million tutorials about that. So I think you'll be fine. So I'll just go ahead and generate my rig. Hide the meta rig. And now we want to start weighting this character to the rig. And I'll hide the rig for a second and I'll show you what I have. First I have the main uh, mesh of the character, basically the body and the clothes and the face and head. Okay, and if I hide this, I have um, hair uh, made with meshes. I have each eye as a separate object. I have top teeth and bottom teeth as separate objects and one tongue object. Okay, I'll focus on this main body mesh first, and then we'll see what we can do about the remaining parts. Uh, so let's do what we usually do. I'll select the character, shift select the rig, press Control P, and choose with automatic weight. And with a complex character like this, uh, with a lot of overlapping geometry, you may get the bone heat weighting error, uh, which is very common Almost every other day someone asks me about this problem uh, in the CG dive comments 
In this case, we didn't get this error, but let's see the results from the waiting. I'm going to select the rig and go to pose mode. And if I move the arm, you'll notice that uh, the strap here is not overlapping properly with the shoulder. And if I move the neck a little bit, if I rotate the neck, you'll see that there are these pieces that disconnect from the cloth, these metal pieces. If I rotate the hips, you'll see that the bottom of the clothing doesn't properly move with the body. But let's take a quick look at the face. I'll hide the metal rig. And if I open the mouth, um, the teeth are not moving anymore. We'll handle this. But you'll see that the mouth is opening quite well. Uh, that's nice. Here we have the, the eye. It is not perfect, but we can fix that easily with uh, weight painting. So the face seems to be working quite well. Okay, I'll select everything and pause clear transform all. Okay, so now let's test things with voxel heat diffuse skinning. I'll select the character and shift select the, the rig, just like when we use automatic weights. But then I'll go to mesh online and here we have voxel heat diffuse skinning. That's what we want. Uh, we don't want surface heat, at least not for now. So I'll click voxel heat diffuse skinning. And it tells us that it took 10, 10 seconds. Let's see what we got in 10 seconds. I'm going to move the arm a little bit. And you'll see that the strap is perfectly overlapping with the shoulder. No problems there. This glove is also working well. If I move the neck, you'll see that these uh, metal pieces do not disconnect anymore. Here uh, in the hips area, the cloth is properly moving with the body. So very, very nice. Um, let's see what we have here for the uh, face. I'll try to open the mouth and this is what we get. So this is a little bit of a weakness of this add-on. At the same time, this is actually the strength of this add-on. Because of this, because of how this weighting works, we are able to weight these cloths very nicely, these overlapping cloths. But when we have things like the lips, which are supposed to separate, but they're very close together, that is the kind of stuff that the add-on struggles with. But not to worry, there are solutions. I'll check the eye and it's also not very good. So for the face, uh, we definitely need a different solution. But I want to emphasize that the fact that we got such great results with the cloths in such short time, that is really amazing, that is impressive. So voxel heat kind of struggles with the face and another area that it struggles with is um, the fingers actually. If I select these finger widgets and uh, bend the fingers a little bit, you'll see that the bending is very, very soft. It is not what we want. And one way to fix these fingers is to use the other algorithm, surface heat diffuse skinning. So let's try this. I'm going to go to object mode, select my character, go to edit mode, and from top view, I'm going to enable X-ray and select the whole fingers and part of the glove uh, that connects to the fingers. Something like this. And then because my character is symmetrical, I can press select, select mirror, and here I'll uh, enable extend, and that will select both of these parts of the mesh. Also, I have this uh, part selected, I don't want it, so control and box select, and I'll deselect this. And then I'm going to press control and I, so that I have everything but the fingers selected. Then I'll go to object mode, and shift select the rig. And then in mesh online, I'm going to show the surface heat diffuse skinning options. And here I'm going to enable protect selected vertex weights. And this will do exactly what it says. All vertices of the mesh that we selected will be protected. So the weights won't be changed. And then I'll click the surface heat diffuse skinning button. Let's zoom in actually and click the button. And when it's done, the fingers will be weighted much better. Okay, so that's great. And we could try the same for the face, and I did try it. And honestly, I couldn't get good results. 
For the face, Blender's default automatic weights worked best. So let's see what we can do about that. There is a way to use automatic weights just for specific bones and specific part of the mesh, but it is not as simple as with the voxel heat add-on. But here is what you can do. I'll go to object mode and enable only the deformation bones. For Rigify, they are on layer 29. And then I'll go to pose mode and I want to reweight the face only. So I'll select all face bones all face bones and also the head bone and I guess I can also select the first neck bone. Okay, then go back to object mode and then I'll select the mesh. Go to edit mode, slash to isolate it and then I'll deselect everything, I'll enable x-ray and box select over the head. I can also press C for a circle select and select the whole face and the neck like this. If you need to deselect something, just middle click with the circle select. Okay, I have the whole face selected. Now I'll go back to object mode and slash to go out of local mode. And then first select the rig. Then shift select the mesh. Go to weight paint mode. And the bones that we selected earlier will be still selected. Then I can enable vertex selection over here, this icon, and then go to Weights, Assign Automatic from Bones. And with this setup, Blender will assign automatic weights to the selected vertices and only from the selected bones. And that is exactly what we wanted. It is a little bit long-winded, but it works. So back to object mode, I'll select the rig and enable my controls, hide the deformation bones. And now if I open the mouth, the face will be weighted with uh, automatic weights, which works best for this part of the mesh. The body still preserves these weights that we got from voxel heat. And the weights for the fingers we created with uh, surface heat diffuse skinning. And so very easily with almost no manual work, we have very solid weights. They are not perfect. I'll show you a little bit of manual weight painting, but for the effort, things are absolutely awesome. I'm going to unhide everything and clear all transforms. Now the body and the face are weighted nicely. So for the sake of completeness, let's see how we can weight the other face meshes like the eyes, teeth, tongue, and also the hair. And for the tongue, I'm actually going to use Voxel's heat diffuse skinning but the remaining meshes I'll just wait manually because I think that will be the easiest way. So let's go to object mode and I'll hide the main mesh. And now I can select the tongue, shift select the armature, go to mesh online. And now I'm going to try to use voxel heat diffuse skinning. And here, because there are only three tongue bones, I'm going to set the influence bones to three. And I think that should limit the bones that influence the tongue to only the tongue bones. Okay. Okay, voxel heat is done. And if I move the tongue widget over here, if I can select it, the tongue is moving. Uh, I'll go to the tongue, edit mode, and select some of its vertices. And I'm clicking around, selecting vertices, and I can see that only the tongue bones are assigned. So my um, little experiment was successful, I think. So I guess you can do something similar with the teeth, where you um, select the teeth, shift select the armature, and set the influence bone to one. And I did experiment a little bit with it, and I'm not quite sure if it works. And also I'm not sure if it's worth it to be that lazy. So I'll just select these teeth objects, the eyes, and the hair, and then shift select the armature so that it's active. And I'll press Control P and parent with empty groups. And that is similar to painting with automatic weights. Um, it adds vertex groups based on the bone names. It also adds an armature modifier. Automatic weights basically do the same, but automatic weights or voxel heat will also try to apply weights to your mesh, whereas empty groups does not. It just adds some basic modifiers and groups. So now if I move the rig, none of these meshes will be moving with it because they're not weighted. But weighting them will be extremely simple. 
Uh, so let's do it one by one. I'm going to select the hair, edit mode, and go to object data properties, vertex groups, and here I want to find the head bone. So in the default rigify rig, the head is not called head, but it is called spine 006. So with all vertices selected, I'll select spine 006 and press assign. And now in pose mode, the head is moving the hair. Okay. Then I'll go to the eye and same thing, go to edit mode, select all vertices. And here I'll look for eye. And Blender 3 uh, creates a bunch of eye bones. Some of them I think are redundant, I'm not quite sure. But the one you want is DEFI.L for the left eye. So same thing on the other side. Edit mode for the right eye and then select DEFI.R and assign. Then for the teeth, this is the upper teeth. Go to edit mode, select all vertices and then search for teeth. And now I have to select teeth.t. T stands for top. So I'll click assign and then for the lower teeth, select everything and then I'll select teeth.b, which is teeth bottom and assign. Okay, now if I unhide everything and go to pose mode, my character will be deforming um, and for the most part it will be deforming well. Okay, so the biggest problem I can uh, find here are the eyelids and the only way to fix these eyelids that I can think of is to manually weight paint them. So let's do some manual weight painting and we'll have a pretty complete tutorial about using add-ons and default blender features and even doing some manual work. So I'm going to press Shift H to hide all controls aside from the eye control or eyelid control. And then I'm going to shift click on the layer 29 with the deformation bones. Maybe disable X-ray that will allow me to see things better. And now I can go to object mode and I'll have the rig selected. Then I'll shift select the uh, mesh as well and then go to weight paint mode. I still have the vertex selection active. I'll disable it. And now if I control click on any of these bones, I'll display their weights. So I'll set up my weight painting as I usually do. Go to tool and blend to mix. Weight to one and strength to about 0.2 is nice. And then under symmetry, enable mirror vertex groups and X and under options, auto normalize. And then I'll control click on this bone here and paint some weights. And to make sure that I'm not painting on the lower eyelid, I can go to edit mode and select these um, vertices here, like this, and go back to weight paint mode. And now if I enable vertex uh, selection, that will limit the vertices on which I can paint. And now I can start clicking here. If I disable um, overlays, it will allow me to see things better. Okay, but if I want to select another bone, I need to disable the vertex selection and then control click on the other bone and then enable it again. Okay, so that is looking much better. I can paint a little bit in this area as well. And then switch to blurring and paint a little bit in this area or blur. Same for this bone, a little bit of blurring. Okay, so this is not bad. And you can keep painting the same way if you want to. That's all. I hope this video has been useful in showing you what voxel heat diffuse skinning can do and cannot do and helps you decide whether the add-on is worth the 30 bucks.